Hey everyone, it's Matteo. In this video, I'm going to talk about adhocracy culture, a key structure to success in modern organizations. If you want to know what is it and how can it be beneficial, you'll definitely want to stick around for this one. So let's start with the first question. What is adhocracy organizational culture? Adhocracy is a modern organizational structure that prioritizes flexibility, innovation, and dynamic environments over traditional structures that prioritize stability, predictability, and hierarchy. Hadocracy is like a jazz band. Just like in jazz, where each member of the band has the freedom to improvise and contribute their unique sound to the overall melody. Hadocracy culture values individual creativity and innovation. The band members in jazz work together to create something greater than the sum of their individual parts. Just as adocracy culture emphasizes collaboration and teamwork to achieve shared goals. And just as jazz musicians adapt to each other's playing and, you know, the evolving mood of the music, adocracy culture is adaptable and dynamic, allowing teams to respond quickly to changing circumstances and come up with new and innovative solutions. Next, let's discuss what the adocracy culture focuses on. Adocracy culture concentrates on decentralization, bottom-up approach, minimum formalization, heavy training, mutual adjustment, and horizontal job specialization. Companies that embrace adocracy culture are usually in industries that require constant innovation and change, such as tech and startups. In 1989, Henry Minsberg found out that organizations with an adocracy culture are more innovative and adaptable than those with traditional structures. In addition, adocracy has been linked to increased employee engagement and job satisfaction, which can lead to higher productivity and retention rates. Several organizations have successfully implemented adocracy culture, including Google which is known for its innovative and experimental approach to management. Other examples include NASA, UNICEF or Wikipedia. An interesting case study is Volve Corporation. This video game developer has an autocracy culture that allows employees to work on projects that interest them. The company has, let's say, no technostructure or hierarchy, and decisions are made collaboratively by the employees working on a particular project. Valve's approach has led to the development of hit games such as Half-Life and Portal. Moving on the pros and cons of adocracy culture. One of the main pros is that it promotes innovation and adaptability. However, all that glitters is not gold. It can also lead to confusion and chaos if not managed properly. Anyway, what's the difference between adocracy and bureaucracy? While bureaucracy emphasizes strict rules, stability, and hierarchy, adocracy emphasizes flexibility, innovation, and decentralization. Finally, let's discuss how to properly implement adocracy culture. Implementing adocracy culture involves a lot of planning and communication to ensure that everyone is on the same page. It's also important to provide training and support to, to help employees adjust to the new structure. Obviously, a change management project is crucial in almost all cases, but I can suggest five effective practical steps to properly apply adocracy. The first one, foster a culture of creativity. Develop a flexible organizational structure, emphasize autonomy and empowerment, encourage experimentation, and the last one, focus on continuous improvement. If you want to learn more about adocracy culture and how it can lead to business success, check out the link in the description for more articles on our website. As the business world continues to evolve, adocracy culture will become increasingly important for organizations that want to succeed. Clearly, not all environments are suitable for an autocratic approach. It isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. In some cases, adocracy can also be mixed with other approaches. Goldbrate already found this out in 1973 when he studied the Boeing Corporation structure. So, 
Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more content on organizational structures and business strategy. Don't forget to leave a comment with your thoughts and questions. I'd love to hear from you and create more videos that address your interests and needs. Together, we can continue exploring the fascinating world of business and finance.